text effects. Who hates text effects? Raise your hand. I didn't think so. But anyway, I wanted to make sure I supply you guys in 2024. So just really cool text effects off the bat with a little bit of a focus on distress and like halftone blurs. So they just look really cool, really good for urban grunge art. And let's just hop into the video. Also, I'm sick. Fair warning. Also, as per usual, do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. It's the first link in the description down below where you basically get all my products, all custom made products by me on my self I page right now, literally all of them on one purchase, plus all future products for free no matter the price forever. Let's start with the halftone blur effect. Start with a text layer and open up your layer styles. Apply a gradient overlay with two black anchors on the left and a white anchor on the far right. So something like this. It will allow for more black to be present inside the gradient for a better transition effect. And just in case you guys don't see anything and you guys use gradients pretty often, do not forget to reset your alignment. And be sure to rotate your angle at the desired effect. After, press OK and convert your text layer into a smart object. And head over to Filter, Pixelate, Color Halftone. Apply these settings, 8 radius, 25, 25, 25, 0. Then press OK. And then you're done. The cool part is you can go back into your smart object layer and play with a few gradient options to get also further effects just by changing to angle gradients or diamond gradients. So to actually export this effect along with a few other ones in this video, it goes as followed. Head over to the select tab, choose color range and select the text to grab the marquee selection. Once you've grabbed the selection, press OK, then go to adjustments and choose color fill. Select the color of course you want to use and that's it. Now you could actually move the text around freely without the background also apply more effects. However, next I have a distress blur effect. It's honestly a pretty fun effect to add distress in some controlled areas. Start with your smart object text layer and apply some field blur under filter, blur gallery, field blur. Next, add a few points on the edges of the text and increase the blur amount by placing a cursor on top of the blur anchor and move the white to the left to increase. Next, apply anchors near the middle of the text or where you don't want to have the actual effect show up. And with these new anchors, turn the blur off. That way the effect does not reach it. Once you're done, press OK. Then go ahead and do the quick shortcut for duplicate and merge, which is Control, Alt, Shift, and E. Then head to Filter, Filter Gallery. Under Texture, select Grain with your grain type on Vertical, Intensity on 70, and your contrast on 90. You can of course at any point go back into your field blur, add some points, or just fix your settings around to kind of work for your dimensions, but that's all I, that's all I got. And just to jump off of our previous effect, while you're still inside field blur, you can use your anchor points that you added, maybe add some more or move some whatever way you want to go. But this time when you exit, duplicate and combine all your images again with Control Alt Shift and E, then head over to filter, pixelate and color halftone, 8, 20, 20, 20 for the effect settings, then press OK. It's similar to the halftone effect in the first effect, but this time you add blur, so it's halftone blur. Pretty genius, I know. This next effect though is really cool for type texture. Start with a smart object paragraph of text. Afterwards, go ahead and select and highlight a few areas with the lasso tool. Then choose select, modify, feather, and feather by about 80 pixels or so. Then with the selection still active, right click and layer via copy. Now with the copy layer, head over to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur at a roughly around like five pixels. Now copy the layer twice, so press Control J and Control J again, duplicate and combine once again with Control Alt Shift and E. Finally, go to filter, filter gallery, under sketch, Choose graphic pen, settings being 2, 50, and on right diagonal. Then click this little plus button down here to add another filter, but this time use torn edges, roughly around 27 and 17. These settings, of course, you might have to update once again and kind of fit your font and such, but you're good to go. Now for our last effect, we have a really fun way to create unlimited text effects with textures. Start by dragging in any texture into a new document and save it as a PSD. In a new document, when your text is all ready to go, select it and go to filter, distort, and displace and displace with the settings at 15 and 5. At this step, by the way, I would highly recommend for you guys to explore because, of course, the higher the displacement number, the more displacement you get, the lower the displacement number, the less displacement you get. Just saying. However, though, when your displacement table goes away, you are then prompted to, of course, select your save texture PSD, press OK once again, and just like that, you generated a really quick text effect with ease. It's probably the quickest two step text effect on the planet. And the cool part is you can do this as many times as you want as long as you keep finding new textures. So that's a W. However, though, with that being said, that is the end of today's video here today, and I apologize for my sick voice. But if you guys learned something, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And of course, check out the Everything Pack. But with that, Seso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, enjoy your week. Well, it's Sunday. Enjoy your week, and then your weekend, and then come back, and then rewatch some more videos.
ったり